Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We human beings are going through an unprecedented challenge. In our lifetimes, we have not seen an extremely frightening period such as this. We have heard about wars, we have heard about famine, plague, people's lives being affected, but usually it's contained and confined to a particular country or particular region. But coronavirus has affected humanity globally. We feel helpless. We feel financially insecure. We are frightened about our lives, the lives of our loved ones, which is only natural. In this time when we feel extremely vulnerable, physically, spiritually, mentally, financially drained, we must not forget that Lord of the heavens and the earth is the most powerful. He says in the Holy Quran, مِنْ وَرَقَةٍ إِلَّا يَعْلَمُهَا وَلَا حَبَّةٍ فِي ظُلُمَاتِ الْأَرْضِ وَلَا رَصْبٍ وَلَا يَابِسٍ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ مُبِينٍ Then nothing happens in this world without the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. لَا يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا وَسْعَهَا Allah does not overburden anyone. He does not put someone through than what they can bear. So although naturally we are feeling extremely anxious, we must not lose hope. This is the time to gain spiritual momentum, feel empowered. There may be some people that we know who have to self-isolate, who have, who have to socially distance themselves, but rather than feeling hopeless rather than feeling you know unkind towards them please reach out to them keeping the physical distance so we are physically distancing ourselves but not socially distancing ourselves in the sense that we should reach out to them by making a phone call by video calling them you know if they need shopping if they need if they need assistance with their prescription or other things you know this is the time to show servitude our faith Islam is about serving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and serving human beings. And those of us who are in self-isolation, there are families who have already gone into self-isolation, please use this time wisely. Make time to bond with each other because as a family we are spending time together now. Make the most of this time. Spend time remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our mosques might be closed. There may be restricted times when we can visit our mosques. But Allah's doors are not shut. Allah's doors are open. The, the doors of mercy are there for all of us. Spend time, perhaps, you know, have a congregation prayer at home as a family. Spend time reciting the Holy Quran, learning the message of the Holy Quran. And when you learn the message of the Holy Quran, you will realize that actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, We would have heard this verse many times, but perhaps now more than ever this verse applies to us. That Allah says, certainly, indeed, we will test you with some fear. And we can see that fear very much so in our lives. The fear of losing our loved ones, the fear of death, the fear of, of, of having uncompleted things. Well, you, the fear of, of the, and, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we will test you with some of hunger. We can see the people, how people are stockpiling, how people are holding up because of fear that they might go hungry. Usually we tend to think about, you know, hunger in those areas where people are um, vulnerable where people are suffering because of war, because of you know, conflicts. But here, in our own neighborhoods, in our own households, there has come about that situation where, effectively, we, we, we may have to go hungry, but you know, at the same time, while we have to prepare ourselves for those days, please also care about others, think about others rather than actually holding up you know we've heard about stories of some people you know stockpiling so much as if they're going to live forever 
No, that's not a human compassion. It's a time to show compassion to ourselves, but also to others as well. When Aqsim the Namwai, Allah says that we will certainly test you with, with, with actually loss in your, in your wealth. We have already heard about some people struggling now. Small businesses are going to struggle extremely. You know, it's going to be extremely difficult for them to survive. Some people have already been dismissed from their jobs. It's a financial crisis that's going to last for a very, very long time, unfortunately. So we have to gain strength in our, in our inner self, in our ability to bounce back, in our, in our resilience and not be afraid, but rather look at, the, look at the bright side, be positive that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this strength. He is the one who gave us the wealth in the first place. He will give us wealth back. And it's also time, if you do have wealth, to spend on others. Charity, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, I guarantee you that if you give charity, you will never suffer loss. You know, it's having that guarantee being given by the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about whom Allah says that he does not utter a word except there's a revelation revealed to him. So going back to that verse which I recited from Surah Baqarah, Allah says, وَنَقْسِمْ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسْ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ And there's going to be loss of life. You know, it's very hard. We cannot imagine losing our loved ones. But this, this, this coronavirus, this pandemic, that's going to grip us in more than one way. We may have to lose our loved ones, preparing ourselves for that, but also preparing for death realizing that one day we have to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have to leave this world what have I done for that ya ayyuhalladheena amanu attaqullah wal tanzur nafsum ma qaddamat li ghad wa attaqullah Allah says prepare yourself you know but ask yourself what have you done for the next world this 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 coronavirus crisis this pandemic has really you know given us a wake up call to so many of us you know that life is very short and life is fragile. How? You know, last week we didn't think that we would be in such a state where you know, public spaces are being closed down, where our mosques are being closed down, where you know, schools are being closed, you know, where you know, you know, corporate entities are having to look, 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 look and consider new ways of serving their clients. It's, it's an it's a unprecedented challenge in whichever way you look at it. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also gives glad tidings. He says, Those who will be tested, all of those things I mentioned, including you know, loss in one's in, in a fruitful uh, things, you know, Allah says, give glad tidings to those. Why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, give glad tidings to those? Because there's those who are patient. Because Allah says, Inna Allah, Allah is with those who are patient. So this is not a time to world with each other when you're queuing up to get some food from supermarket this is not time to physically to to to, to socially distance ourselves uh, from others uh, whilst we're socially distancing physically distancing ourselves as well, as well you know this is a time to to reach out to our inner self and all those values that we preach about the beliefs that we hold is a time to implement that belief in our lives and turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make tawbah, make no repentance. This is the time to reflect on, on our life, but also think about that we're all going to leave this world. And what have we prepared for that world? Asking repentance, forgiveness, that any one of us can be, can be, can end up in a situation where we might be affected by coronavirus, by COVID-19. And those who are in that situation, you know, don't think there's a punishment from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a test and trial, and there are so many divine wisdoms behind everything that He does. In Allah, Alimun Khabir, He is aware and He is Hakim as well. You know, His wisdom, we cannot reach His wisdom. So, my key message to everyone is that we do not lose hope. This is a test. And like every test, we have to be mentally, physically, spiritually prepared for this test. 
Thirdly, do not leave out the value of compassion. Be compassionate to one another. Fourthly, do reach out to those who perhaps are feeling very vulnerable, physically vulnerable, financially insecure, spiritually down. You know, our, our tradition, Islamic tradition, Holy Quran and the Hadith of the Prophet are full of message of hope, positivity and trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have unshakable trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he'll help us see this through but also at the same time the Prophet has advised us to tie our camel so we tie our camel and trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that means taking precautionary measures those who are over 60 those who are vulnerable those who are you know young please avoid those places where you, there's greater chance of you catching coronavirus whether it be our mosques or other places and that's why mosques have very wisely you know some of them have closed down some of them have closed others have you know restricted activities to such just congregational prayer or juma prayer with a very very small number of people you know all these are precautionary measures that we've been advised by the holy prophet to take finally we pray to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our sins to give us the wisdom to understand the trials and tests that we go through and help us to care the tender, the sick, the, the vulnerable and help us to serve others and help us to stay safe. Thank you.